they had long before lost the ability to actually um, interrogate my own moral conscience. Uh, I was surrounded by people who felt that we were doing the right thing. Uh, and if I had ever raised my hand and said, well, actually, is it possible that we're doing this a terrible thing rather than the right thing, I would have been instantly kind of marked as a sort of troublemaker uh, and uh, the worst kind of um, appellation that one can get in diplomacy, which is to be emotional, that one has emotions um, rather than the cold, cold-eyed calculus of real politic and diplomacy. And of course, I was an ambitious um, young fellow and I wanted to be a, a senior diplomat. And to uh, admit to having emotions, to having uh, moral, a moral conscience about the, the actions that I was perpetrating for my state um, was something that was basically inadmissible, that would have been a career killer. It was somehow just not done in the sort of class-based uh, way that British diplomats still govern each other. Uh, there was, it was very clear that indulging in kind of emotional self-examination and moral... Um, uh, uh, philosophizing was, was completely in for dig. One could tell this because um, occasionally we would get telegrams from some ambassador in some country who'd, who would say with some passion, it's terrible that we're allowing Israel to remain in occupation of the uh, Palestinian territories or some kind of sort of statement of policy which was not exactly in line with what the government was actually doing. And that, I was literally with ministers and senior officials when they would read these telegrams and they would say, ah, oh, you know, so, so, so and so, he's clearly gone off, 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 the, uh, off the estate. And from that day forward, that person would be ignored and they would be regarded as a kind of sort of loose cannon. This was the term that we used in the Foreign Office, loose cannon. There was nothing worse than being a loose cannon. Um, <laughs> And to suggest that, uh, uh, that sanctions on Iraq were, were morally objectionable was to be a loose cannon. Um, and instead, you know, we regarded ourselves as kind of soldiers in the trenches of diplomacy, hurling words and phrases and um, uh, missives at the other side. Um, and it was brutal diplomatic warfare in those days. Um, and everybody behaved incredibly badly. We all bugged each other. We all lied to each other. Uh, we all screamed and shouted at each other and made each other weep. Um, it was very, very hard pounding. Mm -hmm.